It's alright. Yo guys, what is up? Max on Borderlands 3 video, and today we're going over Legion Flak, my like drone summoner flak build, where basically you sit back and your summons kill everything for you. It got some huge buffs with this recent uh, patch and everything that happened, and mainly we can now summon infinite OPQ drones. Uh, just to show you guys uh, a little bit of uh, how this works. So uh, yeah, as many opq drones as your uh, little heart desires it's freaking insane you walk around uh and everything is just dead it's crazy <laughs> i hope you guys enjoy the video <laughs> Alright, so let's go over how this build works. We'll talk about how you summon all these OPQ drones first, then we'll get into the guns and gear specifics, and then we'll get into the skill tree. There should be a little bar at the bottom so you can get to the part of the video that you want to watch. Now, this is not a mechanic that I uh, discovered. It was taught to me by a guy named Joined, full credit for showing me this, and it has to do with... First off, the most important thing for this is getting your OPQ drone magazine size to two. At base, when you fire an OPQ drone, it'll be one, it'll consume that ammo and automatically swap you over to assault rifle. So the first thing that you need to do is get that to two. Now, this build is very gear specific because you need, and this is a need, must have in order to do this trick, magazine size on your artifact and your class mod. We have magazine size on our artifact and in our class mod. And then uh, once I can swap over back to my drones, you'll see that I have two, two shots. And that's the first most important part here. The next most important part is getting our pet to crit and having crits happen while we're in the OPQ systems magazine size for the drone because specking things like throat ripper which will give all of our pets attacks including all the things that the pet is doing chances to crit and we're summoning drones and we're specced into megavore and we have leave no trace chance to add chance to add ammo 36 percent chance we're going to be critting all over the place all of our things that our pet is doing is going to be critting which is going to feed ammo back into the magazine so right now there's no enemies here so like if i fired twice i would lose the opq drones but as long as there's enemies and your pet is attacking and your drones are attacking or you throw a hunter seeker and they're critting you will just constantly be fed ammo into this opq systems drones very very quickly and you can spam out as many drones as you would like that is the first big mechanic now the other weapon that you can use with this is a dark army the dark army is what we used originally dark army still really good you hold it and it'll summon drones for you and you'll get a decent amount of drones from using this it's good damage but i think the opq system is just better if you can't get the magazine size just use a uh, dark army but uh, i do prefer the opq biggest downside of the opq though is the damage from the drones if like an enemy gets close to you the splash damage can hurt you all right next things that we need to talk about and uh, how do we get these drones to do so much damage so the first thing that the drones that you can do that i actually don't recommend uh, I do recommend it, but it's not quite as good as what I'm about to show you, is using an Infernal Wish. Using an Infernal Wish with an OPQ drone, uh, when we have both of these summoned, will actually summon double. Um, so we're getting um, two there with one shot, plus we probably also got two Fang. We're using two Fang, so I got three drone summons on one shot there, and your OPQ drones get all your on-hit effects. So if you're using amp damage, this is a double amp Infernal Wish, Every OPQ drone that you summon, they won't show that they're holding amp damage uh, in them, but every one of their shots will actually get the amp uh, damage increases. We tested this. So using Infernal Wish is great. Unfortunately, even though these uh, OPQs will do a ton of damage, 
the best damage that you can get out of this build is not from the drones that you will be shooting uh, even though this is really really good damage you can summon a ton, ton of them i actually think the messy breakup in testing the drones that you can summon from these because you have a drone that'll do damage for you but the pets drone because we're using in our skill tree take this flex pet skin and copy of flex shield um the pet will summon messy breakup shield will, which will get the pet scaling and uh the shield scaling on top of it and also be able to crit because it counts as pet damage so you're going to get tons of drones from the pet that are getting all of this shield scaling plus pet scaling plus um summoning tons of them will just shred things and like the opq drones are great for killing pretty much everything but if you want to like kill wotan really quickly uh these messy breakup drones are much better for it and so uh that is why for the main part we're using the messy breakup but uh the two best shields for this are the wish with double amp if you can roll it or a messy breakup with action skill start that triggers it now one thing that i will say is you can swap to a guardian angel if you want just know that when you do uh your drones will stay out for like maybe a few more seconds and then they'll go away typically if you swap to a guardian angel and you have like 20 drones summoned whatever is in front of you is just going to die uh immediately but if you do want a guardian angel swap you can if you guys do not know the guardian angel is a shotgun from um the vault card and basically it gives you 500 percent v2 damage if you're standing at 25 meters uh, away from an enemy so you just summon your drones then swap it, it they'll murder everything it's absolutely not needed for this build like genuinely really really not needed you can do it if you want because i know you guys are gonna be asking me about that um let's just finish up the rest of the gear the hunter seekers are our next piece of drones so the hunter seekers we'll throw them those are like drones we've got the drones from the messy breakup and then we've got the drones from the opq there's so much damage going on while you're playing this build and uh your grenades will be regening as well so you just kill everything you, you just walk around you literally just walk around and everything dies for you uh next up we're using the red fang now i got asked this uh originally about why i don't use like rack attacks and just spam rack attacks with like action skill start uh, first off, that's because the messy breakup drones that I'm summoning off of my shield don't really do as much damage as the pets. Plus, having the pet get the Gam Burst Aura, which is going to be uh, following the pet around, basically, giving it um, this Atomic Aroma. This Atomic Aroma is going to be critting on enemies, which is constantly going to be feeding me my cooldown for my action skill. And it's going to be procking more drones for me. So I really, really, really like Gamma Burst. And we're using it with a Red Fang, which is perfect for this build because nothing will ever attack us. Everything's going to be too focused on your pet. And then the drones will just be laying waste into them. It's a really, really nice combo. And we're lastly using U Red with a Deathless Class Mod. U Red is going to give all of our damage um, just more damage. Even though U Red got nerfed, the addition of the OPQ systems into this build just make it even stronger than it was before um so yeah there all your drones will be getting your u red damage which is just so 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 nice um so yeah deathless red fang messy breakup hunter seekers and then all the drone weapons you want and then let's talk about the skill tree so showing on screen right now should be the finalized skill tree for legion flag now i say finalized because i actually did between the footage that you just watched and now i did some little bit of tweaks between the skill tree just to min max the absolute most damage that i could out of this build and uh i think it's a little bit better than it was before so thumbs up all around there and i do want to answer some of the questions i think you guys are going to ask about this now first off purple trait now originally in legion flag we respect all the way to fuzzy math with the use of the red fang and just how much damage we're doing right now our shields uh just don't really go down that much because we're killing everything and uh if we are killing things we're going to be getting our shield regeneration from shield reboot and emergency responses and we lose so much damage just by going all the way down to fuzzy math also monkey do is bugged to not work properly so this is a waste here as well so we're mainly in purple tree to get take this which is going to give our pet uh, a copy of our shield we need throat ripper for all of this critical hit chance which is getting boosted by our points into big game for even more crit chance and we're getting gotta go fast for that pet damage and pet movement speed uh all quality of life things here and uh combat vets just gonna make sure that our pet uh doesn't die even more um in blue tree now blue tree is a really difficult spec and i've spec this a bunch of times uh, go for the eyes is great because it's going to give you more pet crit but i found uh because you have to like balance out how much damage you're going to get from your drones and how much damage you're going to get from your pet 
I ended up with this spec going into Ferocity, getting uh, as much pet damage as we could. Persistent Hunter, just one point in here. Um, I like one point here because we're kind of cycling Gamma Burst. We don't want Gamma Burst to be up for too long because then we're going to lose our Anoints and we're using uh, Action Skill and Anoints on our Grenade. So cycling Gamma Burst is going to be beneficial for us and we're going to get more drones when we use our Action Skill. Uh, so good stuff there. Then we're using He Bites. This damage reflect is so strong with Frenzy. Uh, these match perfectly well together. Psycho Head on a Stick for pet damage, pet movement speed. Uh, we don't need Hive Mind because we're using Shared Spirit, which is going to constantly be up, uh, giving us a lot of extra survivability with our Deathless. Barbaric Yop for pet bonuses. We're using the Spider Ant Scorcher for the extra elemental damage increases, uh, getting boosted by Barbaric Yop. One point pack tactics is all we could afford here. Um, you could put this one point here into like Persistent Hunter if you wanted, but uh, just a little bit more damage uh, for our pet and for ourself is really nice. A uh, green tree furious attack is going to give us gun damage and pet damage. It's nice to have gun damage so that we can, because your OPQ is getting your on hit effects or your on hit damage that you're going to be doing, uh, boosting our damage as well. Uh, eager to impress for that extra cooldown time. Lick the wounds is nice because our pet is going to revive us. That's the main reason here. It's also going to give us our pet 30%. Uh, bonus or extra damage if it does revive us and you are going to go down sometimes just because your opq drones are going to kill you uh, if an enemy gets too close they'll like just like cause the splash damage to hit you uh and then lastly our red tree leave no trace super important for opq interaction head count uh i didn't need hunter's eye because we're just not going to benefit as from as much as this uh i went more points into grim harvest to get more action skill damage pet damage and some gun damage and then two to three most dangerous game or uh, more gun damage, more pet damage. Big game is boosting our uh, some of our skills, including ones that are helping our pets. Two Fang to use as many OPQs as we can. And then lastly, Megavore. So everything is critting very, very nice. Uh, and yeah, guys, that is it for the build. This skill tree is kind of like, there's a lot of different ways you can spec this because you're not relying on your guns. You're relying on things around you. So it is very versatile in the ways that you could spec this. I found this to be the best spec that I could come up with. Um, but yeah, guys, that is it for the video. Oh, lastly, uh, Empathetic Rage for this extra damage is super nice. And then Atomic Aroma, really important so that the pet gets the aroma to just crit everything uh, while it's walking around. And yeah, guys, that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The save file will be in the Discord. I'll catch y'all in the next one, guys. Take care. Peace. I was